you got for us what mike what you got for us hey, de- hey, de- oh. hey mike definitely shout out for the background the background look kind of dope back there i, 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 I see Ooh, the arthur appreciate. smith i see the arthur, arthur smith touch you got get some emotion <laughs> up in anything we gotta get some emotion in this thing man um i'm 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 just come out i actually have a video that i'm going to uh, put out to kind of further expand on this um on this first key and uh, like i want to clear up the misconception around calvin ridley and what we all think personally um but we got to come out early and establish calvin Ridley. ain't no way around it all right ain't no way around it all right ain't no way around it if we're going to be, that's what there I'm talking go, about. There, right there you go. Throw it up. Throw, throw the that's 18. Throw the 18 up. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The 18, baby. Like that, we still I believe in you, good. Calvin. We still believe in you, baby. We Come on. believe in you. But you, like, we got to establish him. If we're going to make up to the playoffs, if we're going to win more games, he has to be the center of this offense. I love Kyle Pitts. I think he's going to be a legit talent. I think he is a legit talent. But Calvin really is going to get us over the hump. He's going to get us to the playoffs. We cannot allow him to go whatever the issue is, whether it's mental, um, off the field issues, or mental on the field issues. I don't care. We got to make sure that we establish him as that number one receiver. We got to feed him the ball. Feed me more. That's what we need. More. (laughs) More. (laughs) No, I thought we got, we got to feed Calvin. We got to feed him, feed him, feed him. So when it all comes down to it, we still believe in you. But when you put up certain numbers, people have certain expectations the organization have those expectations of you. You've done it before. You can do it. So when you're not doing, I don't want to hear no excuses about him being depressed. Get your depressed ass on the field and catch the damn ball. Get your depressed ass on the field and run forward. That's all we're talking about. On the field issues. When you get on that field, all everything else, nothing else matters. You are entertainment. You are that guy. You are that number one guy. If you don't want to be that number one guy, don't play the game. So at the end of the day, we got to come out and establish Calvin Ridley. Second one, um, the only thing I'm really worried about with that Miami defense up front is Christian Wilkins. He's a guy that can stop the run as well as rush the passer. So what I want to do is kind of wear out that second, uh, that that linebacker um, core and just feed Mike Davis. I, I say this all the time. As the season goes on, you start to see him wear out linebackers. Linebackers, DBs don't want to touch him. The dude is a low. He's going to get better at the time, as, as the season goes on. So I want to come out and establish that physicality first. Establish that physicality, okay? That's what I want. Physicality. We need to establish that we are a physical team, and Mike Davis is that guy for us. The third one is we got to sack. We got to finish our sacks. We got to finish to it. We cannot allow him to keep running around, running around, running, improvising, and then get the ball in the guy's hands like Jaden Waddle. Like Jaden Waddle is a playmaker with the ball in his hand. So we got to finish those sacks. We cannot allow – um him to run free because he's he's again he he he's not you know he, as far as his athleticism he doesn't blow you away but he can make some plays with his legs and his arm so we gotta finish those sets so those are the three keys established Calvin really early Mike Davis with his physicality and finish the sacks 
that's what we need to do. 